Good day. Welcome to Partakers Friday Prayers at the start of a new year on Friday the 6th of January 2012. Happy New Year. Come, let's pray. As we begin, let's start today with this prayer for the coming year. What shall we ask for the coming year? What shall our watchword be? What should you do for us, dear Lord? What can we do for you wholeheartedly? Lord, we would ask for a holy year spent in your perfect will. Help us to walk in your very steps. Help us to please you still. Lord, we would ask for a trustful year. Give us your faith divine, taking our full inheritance, making your fullness mine. Lord, we would ask for a year of love. O oh, let us love you abundantly. Give us the love that never fails beneath the hardest test. Lord, we would ask for a year of prayer. Teach us to walk with you, breathe in our heart the Spirit's prayer. Pray your prayer in me. Lord, we would ask for the dying world. Stretch forth your mighty hand. Your truth proclaim, your power display, this year in every land on earth. Lord, we would ask for a year of joy, your peace and joy divine, springing undimmed through all the days, which are your days, whether shade or shine. Lord, we ask for a year of hope, looking for you to come, and hastening on that year of years that brings us home to you. Amen. We now come to a time of confession of our sins. The Apostle John writes in 1 John 1 verse 8 to 10, If we claim we have no sin, we are only fooling ourselves and not living in the truth. But if we confess our sins to him, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all wickedness. If we claim we have not sinned, we are calling God a liar and showing that his word has no place in our hearts. Let's now have a short time of silence to reflect upon our lives and then we will say a general confession together. We say together, Heavenly Father, you have loved us with an everlasting love, but we have gone our own way and broken your laws. We are sorry for our sins and turn away from them. For the sake of your Son who died for us, forgive us, cleanse us, and change us. By your Holy Spirit, enable us to live for you and to please you more and more. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I will now say a general confession and please respond with thanks be to God. God has promised in his word that when we confess our sins, he forgives us and cleanses us from all unrighteousness. Thanks be to God. Let's now pray a prayer of thanksgiving to Almighty God. Lift up your hearts, we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God Almighty, for it is right to give him thanks and praise. For this planet Earth, for its beauty and fertility, for the human family with its many races and faces, and for you, O oh God, your utter faithfulness to us, in spite of our rebellion and sin. In the name of the Son, most gracious Redeemer, Jesus Christ, we thank you.
for your renewing presence, creating the church and inspiring deeds of justice and love. In the name of the Spirit, most holy comforter, we thank you. With angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name, forever praising you and singing. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Amen. We come now to pray for those who are lonely and grieving. O oh, gracious Lord in heaven, please listen to all those who are praying to you now. Those who are sad and crying and grieving, those in pain, those who have lost friends and family, those who are alone and frightened. O oh, great God, help them to remember that you are there and that you are listening. Surround them in your arms of compassion. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's now pray for those looking for paid employment. O oh, great God of compassion, we remember before you those who suffer want and anxiety because they have no work. Guide the people of our lands and our governments to use their wealth so that all may find fulfilling employment and receive just payment for their labour. We ask this through Jesus Christ our Lord, in the power of the indwelling Holy Spirit. Amen. Now there will be a short time of prayer where you can give to God things that are on your own mind and heart. And if, for some reason, words are failing you, then pray this short prayer based on Psalm 40. O oh God, help and deliver me from this pit, for I am poor and needy. Let's continue praying. Father, we pray that your love will take over our lives. We also pray that we would follow you faithfully, live lives obedient to you, and give praise to you alone in all circumstances we face. Lord, in your mercy, hear these prayers of your children. Amen. Now as we conclude today's prayers, let's pray this prayer from the book of Jude. Now all glory to God, who was able to keep us from falling away and will bring us with great joy into his glorious presence without a single fault. All glory to him who alone is God, our Saviour through Jesus Christ our Lord. All glory, majesty, power and authority are his before all time and in the present and beyond all time. Amen. Thanks for joining us on Partaker's Friday Prayers. Have a great and blessed Friday week and 2012.